I will show you how FASU can extend the security and governance inside Ignite so that as users download, work, and share the files, that security will follow the files and you will have full visibility and control of those documents. So the first thing I'm going to do is see here a particular folder inside Ignite. And if I look at the permissions in Ignite, I have Cindy, and Cindy is an editor in Ignite. So what's going to happen is as documents are pulled out of the Ignite instance, they will be encrypted, and a policy that's governed by the permissions in Ignite will control what a user can do with those files. So I'm logged into the FOSU client as Cindy, and I have my Ignite Sync app. So I have all the files that have automatically synced down to my desktop. And as I open up this document, the FASU client in real time communicates to the Ignite server, determines what the permissions are for the document at this moment, and then grants me those particular permissions. So if I look here, I can see that I have view, edit, and print to this particular document. So I could change something I could copy and paste. So I can edit the document. What I cannot do is I cannot take a screenshot of the document because that's not one of the permissions I've been granted. So if I try to do that, I'm gonna get this blue mask that prevents me from taking a screenshot of the particular document. If I try to copy information from the document, into an unprotected environment. So example here, this is just a plain Word document. See, I can't do that. If I try to do that and copy it, let's say into an email message, that is what happens. So what FASU is doing is controlling the temp space, the memory space, the clipboard and all the ways that information can get in and out of the document. And since this email message is not an encrypted container or not a FASU document, it's not going to allow me to do that. Okay. Now let's go up to the Ignite instance and I will go into a different folder and I'm going to download the document. So I'm going to download this spreadsheet. The document will download to my downloads folder. And that user has the same permissions to this folder as she had to the other one. So we'll be able to do view, edit, and print, as you can see, just like with the other document. So I'll make a change here. And I'm going to save a derivative of the document. So this is something that people will do all the time. You'll make a copy, or in this case, I'm going to save a PDF of the document and I will save that onto my desktop. Any derivative of the document or copy is going to inherit the same permissions as that original document. So in here you saw I had view, edit, and print. I could also, through a context menu, see that I have the same level of permission. I have the view, edit, and print. And if I were to open this document, because both documents have edit permission, I could copy from the PDF and I could paste that into my Excel sheet. So as long as I have edit permission to the two documents, there's no impact to my productivity. I can copy and paste back and forth. If I want to change the permissions and potentially remove the permissions on this file, just going to go up to the folder permissions here in Ignite. I'm going to remove Cindy. And now Cindy no longer has access to any of the files in this folder. So if I try to open up that spreadsheet that I downloaded, you will see that I can't open the document and I can't see the content inside of it. So I do not have permission to use that document. Same thing will happen with that PDF. 
If I try to open up the document, I'm going to also get something that says you do not have permission to the document. So this is how we can control access. We're changing permissions inside Ignite. And as users try to open those documents, it's going to check back again in real time to determine what permissions the user has. So I want to restore Cindy's permission. I'll make her an editor again. And once I've restored that, if I try to open up the document, I will have the original permissions that Cindy was granted. So as you can see, I can now edit the document. Just like with the Word document, I don't have the ability to take a screen capture. And if I try to open up that PDF again, I will be restored to the same permissions. So FASU allows you to extend the security and governance that you have inside Ignite, outside. So as users download, edit documents, share them and work with them, you will be able to extend that security Again, regardless of the location of the document, the document is always protected and it is always secure.